Hey guys, it's your Nintendo Nerd Shadow here, and welcome to the next Amiibo Tournament, which is a Smash Brothers 64 Amiibo Tournament. So, we've got characters, Amiibo, that first debuted in Smash Brothers on the Nintendo 64, so this is going to be great. We've got four um, clones, but that's okay, it's just to fill in the 16 players, but otherwise... Everyone's here. Every Smash Brothers 64 um, character is here. So, it's going to be fun. We've even got Speed Racer here, which is... <laughs> it's going to be good. Go Speed Racer! Go Speed Racer! Go Speed Racer! Go! Alright, so... Um, I'll show you the rules. So, this time I'm going to make it a bit more competitive. Because I actually turned items off this time. To make it... A bit more interesting, a bit more skill based. So three stock, just as always, and um, yeah, um, items. This time items are off, as I was saying, and the stage selection is mostly Smash Brothers 64 stages, plus um, of course Final Destination and the ones we do need for competitive. So yeah, make sure it's a bit more competitive this time. So that should be good. Also, not to mention, um, stage morph is on for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and stage hazards are off this time. Let's see how we go with stage hazards off. Will it be too boring, or will it be just good to see there actually be some good competition? So, let's get right into it, and let's go. Smash Bros. 64 Amiibo Tournament. Let's do this. Mario is ready. Okay, so first up we've got Stormtrooper versus Purin. <laughs> Round one. Who's your money on, the Stormtrooper or the legendary Jigglypuff? Okay, let's go. I swear to god, I just keep feeling like I might accidentally skip the battle at like the last round. <laughs> that would be terrible. Oh, Jigglypuff is big too! Oh, that makes it even better! Whoa, look at that spin! Down B, down B, come on, down B! Use the down B, use the down B! Oh, that's, a, that's just racking up a lot of damage, wow. Good Jigglypuff, good girl! Oh, good girl! Good girl! <laughs> it reminds me of the time when um, I was sick at school. And the principal was trying to help me feel better, and I, I, I was like vomiting. <laughs> I started like I had to vomit because I was really sick, and um, I vomited into a bucket. And my principal was like, "Good boy, let it all out, <laughs> let it all out." <laughs> and like even though I was vomiting, I felt more like laughing than <laughs> anything. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Sounds like something that should be a meme. If it was recorded, but I don't think anyone would want to see a meme of, um, of me vomiting. Ugh! Yuck! Ugh! Yuck! Alright, so Jigglypuff is losing right now, but Jigglypuff can always make a comeback if she uses the down B, which she isn't using! Down B, come on, now! Now, perfect opportunity! You should have used it then! Should have used it then! Come on, come on, down B, no, come on. Up A, down B, come on. Come on. Up A, down B, come on. It's that easy. Up A, down B. Come on. Come on. Put it to... Ooh, okay. All right. All right. Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, I've still got Final Smashes on. Um, but, um, so, Final Smashes are still on. Um, we're just not from the Smash Ball. So, you can still use Final Smash. We're just not from the Smash Ball, because we don't have items. So, this is, this is, I'm trying to make it a bit more competitive here. So, less luck-based, more skill-based. Well, if we want it entirely skill-based, then we might as well just make it only Final Destination! No items! No Stage Morph! No anything! But, I gotta have some sort of interesting stuff, so that's why we're battling on the, just the Smash 64 stages and such, just to make it at least a little bit interesting. Even though some of these stages are not good for competitive, I don't think this one's good for competitive. But I, I did turn the stage hazards off, so that makes it a bit better. Oh, here comes the stage morph. 
And it is Yoshi. Yoshi! I like how PK Sparks, when he gets excited and sees Yoshi, he's like, Yoshi! <laughs> Yoshi! Oh, there's a happy, um, heart in the middle. That's very nice. When these competitors are battling their hearts off, there's a heart with a smiley face to wish them good luck. That's very, very, very good. Very, very good for the competition. A smiling heart. When they're beating themselves to death, punching in the face, and blood spilling everywhere. Ew, yuck! There's a, there's a nice heart there that is smiling at you, saying, Ah, oh, what a nice fight. Even though someone's gonna get killed today, who is it gonna be? Stormtrooper or Purin? Wait, uh, um, Jigglypuff is actually catching up. Just as long as Jigglypuff doesn't screw up somehow, Jigglypuff might be able to still win. Come on, Jigglypuff, you can do it. Do it for me! Do it for me, Jigglypuff! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I, I, I use Jigglypuff more than, than, um, Samus, so... Come on, you can do it. You can do it. No! No! I, why did you have to get spiked there? Come on, Jigglypuff! No! Damn it, I wish if they could, like, Nintendo release, like, a Pokemon line of Amiibo. That would be cool. Release a Pokemon line of Amiibo! So we get, we'll get another Jigglypuff Amiibo. That would be great. Okay, so it's Hero Lonk versus Speed Racer. Who's your money on? My money's on Speed Racer! <laughs> go Speed Racer! Go Speed Racer! Go Speed Racer! Go! Go Speed Racer! Go Speed Racer! Go Speed Racer! Go! God. Did any of you guys... Okay, say in the chat, if any... Did any of you guys end up seeing the, um, that live-action Speed Racer movie? Like... Like, I, I, I liked it at the time, but just looking back at it, it was just, it was bad. It was, it, it wasn't that good. It was, like, I think the main issue with that movie was it was just way too colourful. Like, there was, like, so, so many flashy, unrealistic colours that it was just burning to watch. It was bad for the eyes. I think they even, I think there was even epilepsy warning at the start, it was that bad. <laughs> oh, but sorry, that didn't work very well. Well, Hero Lonk is the survivor. Oh, I, I like this theme. It's the main Pokemon theme, but the, I, I just like the melee one the best. So, I, I think this is actually, it's pretty, this theme is actually close to the anime's one. In, like, episode one, for example. I choose you! The I choose you episode. Like, currently, I'm watching Pokemon on... Pokemon Black and White. Um, by the time this video comes out, I'll probably be up to um, Adventures in Univer, I think. Whatever the third Black and White season is. So I'm going well with it. Um, so it should be good. Except I already know the league results. Kind of. Um... Anyway. Alright, it's neck and neck, kind of. Oh wait, no it isn't. Oh, stage morph, uh oh. Oh! Oh, a survivor! You survive. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, it's big battlefield, alright. Alright, break the targets. There's a 
is a good music option. Like break the targets. Break the targets. Break the targets. Yeah, that's that's one thing about ultimate that's just a bit disappointing is there's no break the targets mode. Which is a shame. Oh! 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 Oh, that was that was actually a close game. See, this is this is why I think it's good to have um yeah, good to have items off. Because you don't want to have some BS item kill you instantly. Instead, it will be up to the very end of the battle when it's really intense moments like that happens. So, now we got Famicom versus Linky Poo. Another Link. Um, so, who's your money on? The Nintendo Famicom or Linky Poo? Um, I don't want to skip. I, I just, I, there's, there's been times in like the past where I accidentally skipped. That's why I keep, I'm scared that I might accidentally skip again. So I'm, I'm trying to be very, very careful of what I do. So we don't want to skip. Skipping's very bad. Skipping's very bad. Also, also guys, I'm not sure if any of you guys have noticed, but um, within the past few weeks or so I think I've been using my new headset currently using this new headset now so I'm not sure if you guys noticed any difference with my mic um, but if the, if you did it should be better from how from like my experience like um, from hearing it playback for myself when I'm editing it sounds a lot cleaner my mic audio so I think that's a good thing because before I was hearing with my old headset um, a bit of static noise, so that's why I was trying to get a new headset. So um, my my old headset isn't retired, but I'm 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 using my old headset as only only for videos that I know I might wreck my mic. So I only use my whole my older headset for um, for like um, Link videos for Link Plush Gaming. Because um, I know he would probably scream at some point. So if Link's in the video, or um, well, or, I know he was in the Smash Ultimate um, episode 501. But ones where um, Link is one of the four characters, um, or or one of the two characters, or one of the three characters, or whatever, and I know he might scream, then I'll um I'll, I'll use my old headset for that because I don't want to wreck my new mic. I I might be screaming onto this new mic a bit, but Link is worse than me. Link is a lot worse than me. He would scream his head off. See, look at Lucy. Look at this. This neck and neck, like both on one stock. She. This is why I think I might just leave items off from, from now on. And unless, unless if you guys want item battles back, then I can bring them back for some point. But for these specific um, ones, I'm, I'm going to be doing melee next. I'll be doing the Smash Melee Fighters next. Um, so that will, I'll leave items off for that as well. But for any other ideas for amiibo tournaments, I can do themed amiibo tournaments. Then I could bring items back if you really want. But um, so far, we're going to go through all the Smash Brothers games. Um, so ne so be, I'll, I'll be doing um, Melee next, then Brawl, then Wii U and 3DS. Oh, Linky Poo one. All right. I guess that makes up for um, for Speed Racer winning the last round. So we still got a Link playing. Okay. So so with this one 64. Next one will be Melee. Then we'll do Brawl, and then Wii U 3DS. And I know you're saying ultimates next, but um, I'm I'm am still gonna decide about that though. Um, skip this battle. No, we don't want to skip. Miyamoto Junior is joining, and the reason why it's called Miyamoto Junior is because um, um, Miyamoto actually wanted Kirby to be yellow, so that's why I made um, Kirby um, yellow and Miyamoto Junior for this. So, that's th that's the context behind that, if you're wondering. Um, also, th that's also the reason, um, if you're wondering with, like, um, any any Kirby game, K 
Kobe game where it's like multiplayer. Um, always play it. Always the player two Kirby is yellow, just to acknowledge um, um Miyamoto that he wanted um Kirby to be yellow originally. Like, like Kirby looks all right yellow, but I honestly think he looks a lot better pink. So Kirby, Kirby's better pink. But my favorite Kirby's blue. So, as I was saying before, with Ultimate, um, so, the thing is with Ultimate, though, like, um, not all the Amiibo are out. We're still waiting for Steve to come out. Steve and Alex. Um, now I'm recording this on the 22nd of July, currently, which is a Friday, and currently at this date... Um, there hasn't been any confirmation of, um, of when the Steve and Alex Amiibo is going to release. So, um, so at this current date, they're still delayed, but maybe by the time this video is out, maybe they've announced a release date, but who knows? Um, hopefully I, I really want to get them. Like I can't even pre-order them yet. EB Games, I, I asked them if I could pre-order Steve and Alex and even, they don't even have it. I, I can't even pre-order them. So, that really sucks. Like, I, I just don't want to miss out on getting Steve and Alex Amiibos. Um, because there was the time um, during the Wii U and 3DS era with all those Amiibo when Amiibo were quite rare at some stages. Um, where there was times where I missed Amiibo and then they got rare. Is I didn't pre-order them, and then I had to go on a wild goose chase trying to find whatever amiibo I could in the store, and then I had to buy the rest on eBay for like, um, triple the price. Oh, what was that? <laughs> okay, um, I, I I would like to see a replay of that, but uh, you guys would have seen what happens. But I I wasn't even concentrating. Um, so, Fox killed himself, somehow. Kirby fell off the stage too, it looked like it. Now, we don't want to skip. Ah, oh, Mario vs. Yoshi, or specifically, Yoshi Saw vs. Chris Pratt. Oh, I wonder who's going to win. Chris Pratt or Yoshi Saw? Okay, um, I, I keep interrupting myself, like... I keep interrupting myself, like, have you ever had moments where you interrupt yourself because you're talking for too long, and then you end up saying something else, when you were meant to be saying something else, so I was saying about Smash Ultimate, the amiibo, and then I got a bit sidetracked with the battle and also thinking about the Steve and Alex amiibo, so, um, the, the thing is, um, I, I will do a Smash Brothers, um, Ultimate um, Amiibo Tourney. I can't talk. Amiibo Tournament. Um, but I, I want to wait until all the Amiibo are out before I do that. Um, either that or I'll just do um, the the base game characters. So, like, I'll do um, Zero Suit Samus, Isabelle, and um, Incineroar. And all of that. And then I'll do the DLC characters separately. I think that might be better if I do the DLC characters separately. So Fighter Pass 1 and Fighters Pass 2 separately. Just so I can get at least an, an amiibo tournament of the ultimate characters. So. so that should be good. Oh yeah, and Daisy. Daisy's another one. Daisy can... King K. Roll, um, who am I missing? Um, Ridley, Inkling, um, I was thinking of doing like a Splatoon amiibo tournament, but there's not enough. I've, I've only got a few Inkling amiibos. It would only be Inkling, that's the problem. There would only be Inkling as the playable, um, character, so I might just throw in a few Inklings for the ultimate. Um, characters, um, cast. Oh, like, Yoshi Saw's, like, 
racking up a lot of damage, uh, or, or not r l l getting hit by a lot of damage. Um, um, Chris Pratt racking up a lot of damage on Yoshi Saw. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, Isabel. Um, uh, I think that's all. Like, I'm, I'm trying to look at my Bebo here. I can't see any extras. Oh yeah. Also, um, oh yeah, I forgot about the Belmonts. Belmonts and. I'm probably missing someone else. Um, um, no, Lucina's Smash Wii U in 3DS. I'm thinking of, um, what's the name? Um, ah, damn it, I'm, I'm forgetting my Fire Emblem characters now. I'm, for, I'm first forgetting my Pokemon, and now I'm forgetting my Mario character, not my, my Fire Emblem characters, which is, um, is, um, I, I, I named this amiibo Buff Jontron, I think. Um, it was, um, um, God, what's his name? Crap. I've got dementia. Um, <laughs> um, what is it? What is it? Uh, it's, 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 okay, so we got Roy, that's one, Marth, um, Lucina, um, Byleth, um, Ike, um, Robin, and, um, <sighs> Damn it, I, I keep forgetting, um, there's Corrin too, that's Corrin, um, no, I, I'm, 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 I'm forgetting, I'm, I'm, I can't forget, you, you guys are probably laughing your head off, like, oh my god, it's this character, you can't think of the character you're talking about, I'm like, I'm, I'm, my brain is dead, oh, my brain is dead, I'm sorry guys, it is, it is, um, <laughs> I don't want to google it, I don't want to google it, it's, um, 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 it, it, I know, he's, he's good, he's good mates with Robin, it's, um, oh, god damn it, um, <laughs> it's, um, god, I, I can't think today, my brain's so dead, um, I think I, I think I burnt it out from all the non-stop talking stuff. I'm gonna <laughs> Google it. Um, the Fire Emblem characters. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. I never. I don't think I've ever done this before. Um, Fire Emblem characters. It is. Um. Um. Oh God. There's too many. Chrom. Chrom. That's it. I was. I. I knew it started with a C. I just I forgot. Crom. Uh, I named him Buff Jontron. Alright, I'm a bit stupid today. Normally, if I, if I was doing this like an old video, this was an old video, um, I would have I would have cut that out because of how embarrassing that would have been. But I'm just gonna leave it in for lols. Of course, we don't want to skip any of the amiibo tournament too. Um, so yeah, I don't really edit much out of Show the Gamer anymore. So, uh, skip this battle. No, Chris Pratt run. What run? Um, won. He 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 won. So, uh, I was got. I was hoping Yoshi would win, but at least we got another Yoshi still playing, which is um, Smurf Yoshi. So it's Sakurai's son versus Monkey Wrong this time. He's pink. So, who's your money on? Kirby or Donkey Kong? Um, I'm gonna go for the monkey. Mmm, monkey. Okay, I thought my headset disconnected, sorry. But it's like, even though this headset's new, like, I've still had issues with the mic. Um, it was when I first got it, um, the, the microphone, it's had trouble like connecting like had trouble like getting in so um like what i mean by getting in is like it's been having trouble connecting into the socket so it ha hasn't had good contact so i had to kind of take it out put it back in take it out put it back in until it fits in nicely so now it should be nice so um so that's why it took a bit of time to for me to transition from the old headset to the new one so I think I'm all settled in now unless if there's a big catastrophe where 
my headset decides to kill itself some for some, some dumb reason um well it's just the audio is pretty loud on the game but hopefully it isn't no, well loud enough to hear but I, I i don't want my voice to be overshadowed by the game because you want to hear my stupidity don't you yes you do you want to hear my stupidity oh Okay, and the reason why I set these battles to five minutes is just so, of course, um, um, to don't let the, them go on for too long, because we don't want them to go on for like ten minutes and then find out it was just a stupid match after like, after all that. So, um, I think no, the last match was timeout. Okay, Monkey Wrong actually won. I actually got my prediction right. Um. Anyway. So. I think five minutes is a good amount of time for three stock, so it gives enough time to beat each other up and finish it off. Or if they really screw around like Chris Pratt and Yoshi saw, then um, it will take a bit longer and then it ends up being a timeout. So now we don't want to skip this battle. It's now Green Mario versus um, Pikachu or Clement. got the fighting suit on um is it the libre suit I, I i don't know i i don't know what it's called it was some like a specific name for it for this suit like sometimes my english is pretty bad even though english is my first language <laughs> so if i say something stupid it's just me being an idiot, so... Oh, 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 oh! Wow, that was risky. Alright, um, I, I haven't said who my money's on. My money is on, um, let's say, um... I'm, now I'm gonna go for Pikachu, actually. Let's go for Pikachu. Now, um, everyone's level 50, so it's, it's, it should be evenly matched. I think there might have been one odd time where I did make someone in an amiibo tournament and I forgot that they weren't on level 50, so I think I either, I, I think I either didn't notice or... Or I think I cut them out of the amiibo tournament just because, oh, they're not on level 50 yet. I think it might have been Meta Knight. So I remember there was a time when I was actually going to use Meta Knight for an amiibo tournament. And then I did realize it wasn't on level 50. And I was like, oh, I forgot to train Meta Knight. Well, that's great. And also there's, um, I've had a few deaths of amiibos too. So there's been some amiibos that... That don't scan anymore like my Super Mario Wario amiibo doesn't scan anymore which is a shame um also my um my old um my old um where is it um my old little Matic little <laughs> I can't talk my my old little Mac amiibo um is um that that doesn't work either so um when I was still with Jay I gave it to her so, but we don't talk about Jay anymore. We just don't. We just don't. Don't talk about Jay, please. Um. All right. Um. So yeah, because 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 Little Mac went to um to a different home because it was dead. Um, I, I got a new little Mac Amiibo for okay price. I think it was about thirty dollars Australian, which isn't, isn't too bad for Amiibo that old. So I got, I got a replacement and I trained it up to level fifty. I believe I did. So um, little Mac should be ready for the Wii U and 3DS tournament. 
Now, I, I do need to make sure, I'm going to make sure I go through all the amiibo again, just to make sure they all work, because there are some amiibo that have ended up killing themselves, so, um, so they don't work anymore. So, the th my solution is, for those amiibo that don't work anymore, I'm going to get a, um, one of those little amiibo, um, those, like, counterfeit amiibo chips, those little uh, counterfeit amiibo discs, and I'm going to slip it underneath the amiibo base. So, it's basically like I'm paying for um, a replacement NFC chip. So, so it'd be good if Nintendo provided them, but Nintendo, of course, they wouldn't provide them because, like, that would be an easy way just to, to, like, get um, a cheap amiibo without having the amiibo um, figurine. So, of course Nintendo wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah, my, my prediction was right. Again. So that's pretty good. Pikachu wins! Pikachu wins. But the, the only thing, the catch is, is that if I, if I do have to um, get an, another amiibo chip, then the thing is, of course, I need to... Um, I need to start back from level 1 again with the amiibo, I have to train them again, but that's okay, I enjoy training amiibo. Um, Smurf Yoshi vs Jumpman. Who will win? They're both blue, and they're both stupid. So let's see who wins. Let's see who wins, the Smurf or Jumpman. Mario's original name. Like, like, there's been, um, there's been some other, um, cases where Mario has been called something else in his early days, like, he, I think he was, like, um, no, before Jumpman, I think he was going to be called Mr. Video or something, and Yellow Yoshi said that, but he got his facts wrong on top of that, um, so, which is right, Mr. Video, but he was saying that, um, Mr. Video, Mario was first known as Mr. Video, which is incorrect, it was, that's, um, jump, 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 jump man's, jump man, jump man Mario's, um, alpha name, I would say. That's his alpha name, J Mr. Video. Or let's just call him Popeye the Plumber. <laughs> Popeye the Plumber. <laughs> Popeye the Plumber. The thing is, Miyamoto was, um, inspired by Popeye, um, for Mario. I think the same with the Pac-Man creator as well, I think he said that. I forgot the name of the Pac-Man, um, um, original Pac-Man creator. I forgot his name. Anyway, like, it's funny, like, all these, like, a lot, a lot of these, um, even the original video game, a lot of characters also always have like a inspiration of something so I know a lot of you guys are saying like oh you're copying someone oh you that's so unoriginal why would you copy them and like okay there's a difference between copying someone and being inspired by someone so if you're copying them that would be like basically like basically like stealing their like entire idea of them like even making it like word by word or stealing their catchphrase completely or something like that where it actually shows that it's copying but if you'd like like had some inspiration like I don't know inspiration for like how I was inspired with like doing plush videos for example I was inspired by uh, uh, we don't talk about him uh, SML I was inspired by his old videos and some other plush tubers I watched so I was inspired by that, and I wanted to have my own take on it. That's inspiration. But if you're straight off copying, copying someone's plush video, the same plot, the exact same plot, using the same characters, copying the same personalities, original personalities of someone, um, then and that's some um, copying. That's not just inspiration, but that's copying as well. So... There's a difference, so so just so, just so you know, there is a difference between inspiration and copying. 
Now, what confused me about this stage here is that I actually, like, thought it was, this was a melee stage, but I was like, no, this is actually Smash 64. Is the melee stage is, like, slightly different layout. So, that's something. Alright, Jumpman 1. Okie dokie. But that means all the Yoshis are out! The two Yoshis! No! Two Marios and two Yo- Two Marios are in, two Yoshis are out! Oh, that's ball! That's ball! No, we don't want to skip. We want to watch the Stormtrooper versus Speed Racer. Now, I would have actually, um, got more Metroid Amiibo, but, um, I, I could have actually got the Metroid Dread Amiibo, like, I feel like I should have, because the, the, it was available in the stores for quite a while, I could have got them in store, and I, I didn't get them, because I'm, I don't know, I just, I, I was, I, I just feel like if I got them, my set would feel incomplete, because then I'd have to get the really expensive, um, on Samuson's Metroid Amiibo from, I think, Metroid Returns, and they're really hard to get. They're like $300 or something. $600 for the two-pack or something like that. So, that's why I wasn't really keen on getting the Metroid Dread Amiibo, because then my collection wouldn't feel complete. And with me, I'm a completionist, and I feel like I have OCD, even though I don't. Um... Alright, who's your money on? Stormtrooper or Speed Racer? I'm going for Speed Racer, because look at that, he's about to get... Um... <laughs> the Stormtrooper got roadkill. Um, oh, has I got another Final Smash here. Another Final Smash. And it hit. He could have actually dodged that. Like, if, if he, if he, like... If he dodged, like, air dodged... Like, he, he would have he would have been able to avoid that, but no, he just fell right into it. And he looked like he was actually jumping into it. Like, my god. It's, I think it's playing the melee intro theme right now, I think. Isn't it? It would have made more sense if we were only playing Smash 64 music. Um, but... I'd have to change all the settings to do that, and it'd be a waste of time, so... Um, I'm, I'm sure you guys would rather hear, like, more variety than just 64 anyway. Anyway, the 64 music, it's good, but it's, like, got that really, like, vintage sounding, um, vintage sounding soundtrack. Anyway, even the GameCube's now vintage. Like, like, quite a few, like, well, quite a lot of GameCube games are now vintage. 2001, 2002 games. Um... Linky Poo, Miyamoto Jr. Let's see who wins. Okie dokie. Like, what else? Like, Game Boy, um, Game, well, of course the Game Boy is now vintage. But Game Boy, um, is Game, no, Game Boy Advance, I think, when the Game Boy Advance came, come out, it was like, Early, very early 2000s, so that's either now vintage or almost vintage. That's something. I I, I feel old now. I'm I'm now vintage. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm vintage. If I was an item, even I'm vintage. I feel old. I feel old. Okay, if you're wondering what if if you know if something's vintage or not. Um, it has to be at least 20 years to be vintage. So I'm 22 years old. I'm 22 years old, so I'm vintage if I was an item. 
I came, I, I, I was alive when the Nintendo 64 was about to die, so... <laughs> I still, I'm so old, I still remember when they were selling Game Boy games in store. Game Boy games, yes, Game Boy games in the store. Not, not retro store, but I remember them selling Game Boy games in Kmart. In Kmart. Or Target, or some, one of those stores. I think it was Kmart, though. I'm not sure if you guys in US or UK have, um, Kmart, but... It's, um, it's, it's basically like Target, but, um, they don't sell games anymore. They used to, they used to sell games and DVDs and all sorts of crap, but now it's just clothes and toys and books. That's all they sell. Pretty boring. I think it's, it's because Target bought Kmart out here in Australia, so Target now owns Kmart, so they just moved all their, um, all their games. Um, DVD and gaming stuff to just target only which is a bit of a shame because I would have liked to go and have a look in the games area in Kmart but no I can't do that anyway who does anyone even buy games from target I I, I buy only buy my games from JB Hi-Fi and EB games now or, or online or online or retro game stores of course so, those are the only places I shop for games. Like, I, I know, I, I know, probably a lot of you might have actually, you would have bought games from Target or something, but, like, like, the thing is, like, uh, some of my friends have had bad experiences from buying games from Target, so, that's why, like, like, it's not really that great, because you don't really have that good warranty buying games from Target. So that's why I like to get it from specialists, gaming specialists. Even though it might be a bit more expensive to get it from, like, EB Games or JB Hi-Fi. Um, oh, no, it's actually cheaper at JB Hi-Fi, but uh, for specifically EB Games, you're, you're paying for the, you're paying for the, um, the, um, warranty. You're paying for the warranty, which is which is a lot is worth a lot of more, a lot more because there's been times where I've bought bought like a pre-owned game or even some new games or a new amiibo or something and and didn't work yeah even amiibo I just bought didn't work I was able to take it back tell them what happened and they said oh it's all good man I'll um I'll, I'll swap you we'll swap you with another one or they give me a full refund if they don't have it in stock there was a time where I bought Mario Party DS and, um, apparently I got sold a, um, it was a, it must have been either a, uh, no, I think it was actually a bootleg, because it actually didn't even work on my DS Lite. So, it went, it, it, it booted up, and then the next time I, I tried it, it didn't work at all. So, um, okay, um, Kirby won that one. Um, so it didn't, it didn't work at all. Like, so, I, I, I traded it back in. Well, I sent it back and I said it didn't work and I got a full refund and they didn't have another copy so it took me a while to get Mario Party DS again. Um, Chris Pratt versus Monkey Wrong. Let's uh, go. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I, I just, I think it's best to wait just to make sure I don't accidentally skip because I don't want to accidentally skip and then I'm like, <gasps> FUDGE! I ruined the whole video because I skipped it! Oh, I skipped it. Oh, shit! Oh god. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say the last letter of that because otherwise I'll have to remember to censor it. <laughs> but anyway, you could say like a a pirate ship or. Um, or, um, or, um, um, a sheet of paper. Yeah, a sheet of paper. <laughs> a sheet of paper. <laughs> oh my god. There's a sheet of paper, everyone. There's a sheet of paper in the toilet. <laughs> oh god.
It was like, e like even like um, like um, like what was it? Um, like Sonic always saying like shoot, like S H O O T shoot. Like sometimes you could easily make that into like a swear word if you like censored like the very middle of it. It would sound like you're swearing. But even like in the Sonic 2 movie, Sonic said, HOLY SHERBET! <laughs> and someone actually made it like he was swearing, actually swearing. HOLY SHERBET! <laughs> like I can't believe how many like, um, spots of, um, like, profanity, um, like references or I don't know that sort of references to showing the could be profanity in in Sonic 2 and like it got away with it like Jim Carrey saying this piece of shiitake planet <laughs> it's like shiitake like mushrooms or something I I think I googled it because I'm dumb um what was it um Monkey wrong wins. Yeah, get rid of Chris Pratt. Get rid of Chris Pratt. Like, like I, 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 I don't really, like, I, I'm not saying I hate Chris Pratt, but I'm just a, not, I don't really like him as much anymore, because, um, yeah, Chris Pratt, he's, he's been, I don't know if this is true, but there's been rumours going around that he was a Trump supporter, so... I, I, I don't want to I don't want to be supporting Chris Pratt if he supports someone that is someone that's done pretty horrible things so um, we won't get into that but anyway I like like in my thoughts on Chris Pratt with the Mario movie um like I think like like Chris Pratt he's um he he doesn't really sound like the type of person that would voice Mario. Jack Black though, really, I, I think Jack Black is a great casting option for Bowser though, because Bowser's got that kind of Jack Black personality anyway, so, um, I think Jack Black works perfect for Bowser, so, that's something, um, but, um, so, so Jack Black works well for Bowser, Chris Pratt, I, I, I just don't see him working with Mario. Like, currently at this date recording, we haven't heard his voice yet, unless if we do get the trailer, um, soon, but, uh, though this, this video would have aged poorly if the trailer did release before this video came out. Oh my god, imagine if the trailer actually released before this video comes out, and I'm talking about Chris Pratt with Mario, and I'm, this is now old news. Um... Uh, There's been so many times where I've been talking about stuff happening and then it ages poorly because they just reveal something. Like, I think there was even time with, like, my Bowser's Fury, um, playthrough and I was talking about, um, I don't know, some, some Mario news or something. I was, like, talking about that and then that aged poorly because then there was, um, there was some new Mario move, um, moves, <laughs> Mario, um, Mario news that... Um, that kind of made my t discussion on it a bit outdated. Alright, alright. Uh, anyway, I think we should focus more on the actual battle here, because it's just me rambling about on um, random, um, SHITAKI PLANET! <laughs> oh, this, um, Cle Clement versus Jumpman. I think my money is on, um, Clement. Just because I, I, I like Pikachu a bit more than Mario, so... Um, I'm going for Pikachu. Let's go, Pikachu. Go, Pikachu. Go, Ivysaur. Oh, yeah, because I, I can't really ace Ash's voice from how he sounds like the anime. I just, my vocal cords don't really work in that way that I could, like, um, <laughs> I could get the exact voice for Ash. So, like, in my, um, in my plush videos, um, I, I, I keep accidentally making Ash sound a bit too much like Sonic, which has a bit of a, been a bit of a problem. So I've been trying to make Ash sound a bit more like Pokemon Trainer in, um, in Smash Ultimate, specifically Smash Ultimate, where he's like, GO IVYSAUR! GO IVYSAUR! 
Go Pikachu! Oh, no, no, go. It's like, go Charizard! Go Avisaur! Go Squirtle! You did great, Squirtle! So kind of like that. So I was trying to make it kind of more like that. Because Ash is sounding too much like Sonic. And that was a bit of a problem. Because I really like using Sonic. And I was wanting his Sonic's voice to be unique. But then Ash steals Sonic's voice. Which is a problem. A big problem. So that's... That's... That's one reason why I haven't been putting Ash and Sonic in the same video. Well, I tried not to. I tried not to have Sonic and Ash in the same video, or at least in the same scene. Because that's how it causes problems. That's how it causes problems. I think it was worse than World of Light Plush, because I think Ash actually ended up on the same team as Sonic, from what I remember. Ash ended up being on the same team as Sonic, which wasn't good. Oh, Mario won! Damn it! Okay, I lost that round. I lost my money to Mario. Great. Um, alright, who's next? Oh yeah, this, this, um, this Pikachu is actually a female. Clement's a female! What? That's not right. That's not right at all. Maybe I should change the costume, because it doesn't make sense anymore. I can't have Clement being a female Pikachu. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It would make sense if Bonnie was was a female Pikachu or something, but but not Clement. Clement's a guy. Um. Alright, now we don't want to skip the battle. Alright, so we got Kirby, Miyamoto Jr. versus Speed Racer. Okay, I th I'm, this is going to be a tough one. Um, I think I, I probably know who will win this, but, um, uh, like, Captain Falcon's got the power. He's got the power. Kirby's got more of the spammy moves. So, um, and Kirby's also got, like, a good recovery by the fact he can just... Um, go up, 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 up several times. So, um, even though I feel like Captain Falcon might win this one, I'm, I might go for Kirby, actually. I'm going to go for the underdog, if Kirby is the underdog. Ooh, oh, oh, all right. Well, I made a right decision. Um, I'm going for Kirby on this one. Going for Kirby. All right. Things are going well. My capture card hasn't killed itself yet, so that's a good sign. <laughs> there, there's been times where my capture card has killed itself before. Um, I think it was um, episode 300 of Plush Gaming, um, which is was my longest, one of my longest Plush Gaming videos, um, because it was a tournament video. Um, and I was actually recording it in 1080p, which is the reason why it killed my capture card. So, I haven't been able to do... That's why all plush gaming videos, or... Well, all, all plush videos are, ten, are not 1080p, they're 720p, um, because of that reason. So, all plush gaming videos are in 720p, um, because um, I, 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 my laptop can't handle 1080p. At least my plush videos are in 1080p, which is the, which is the best thing, because you want to watch my plush videos in the best possible quality. So, um, it was that short which would have released yesterday, um, by the time this video is out. Yesterday from the release date of this video, um, of Link, um, was it Link's, um, Link getting scared by the GameCube screen like that was I was originally gonna do a YouTube short with that I was gonna do a YouTube short um but the thing is like I like okay the idea of YouTube shorts is cool but with plush videos like it just doesn't work I've made two of them before and it doesn't work and I tried I was going to have that that links um that link getting scared by the GameCube era screen as a YouTube short. It was short, it was only like 30 seconds. But the thing about that is the problem is that 
Um, since you have to make it, optimize it for it to be on phone, so I have to scale it down to make it like a phone screen size. Um, it cuts out the sides of it, and I was like trying to make sure that Link was in the middle of it uh, the whole time, but even then it looked crap. I would have to really zoom out to do it, so you'd end up seeing my whole hand, my whole arm, my whole arm holding Link, which is a problem, so I just don't think YouTube Shorts work well for plush videos, it just doesn't. Because plush videos, you need to see the whole space around it. So, like, my opinion, I, I just feel like YouTube Shorts have kind of stuffed up the YouTube algorithm in a way, because now you're kind of getting only specific content that actually would work as a YouTube short rather than anything that you can do because you restrict it to the phone screen size, which sucks, which really sucks. I, I don't want to be working with a small screen size. So, like, those are two YouTube shorts I did. I think they'll probably be the only ones I'm doing unless I can think of a good reason to do a YouTube short. But... Even then, like, the, the phone screen is just not that great. Like, you're watching videos on the phone, you just watch it in, in, um, horizontal screen. Not vertical. Like, if it was like, I don't know, a gameplay of a phone game, like if you do like a short from a, um, like, I don't know, Mario Kart Tour or something, then I guess go ahead, make that a YouTube short. But if it's something like an actual comedy skit or something, it, it, I, I just finding it just doesn't look good because you're cutting out like a huge amount of the space beside it. And for it to work, a plush video to work, I have to really like, Zoom out! Zoom out as much as I can! And it's like, really hard when I'm trying to get the best possible quality and trying to make sure my, my hands don't get too much shown. Because I've had complaints before of like saying, Oh, your glove is so distracting! Like, why you wear gloves? Your gloves are so distracting! Stop wearing gloves! Your gloves are more distracting than like, someone like your actual hand yourself and like I have experimented doing plush videos without my gloves before but then I could only make it through like two or three scenes with without wearing gloves and then my hands just started getting extremely sweaty again so so that's all right that's why I need to do it with the gloves okay okay all right, next up is, um, the final round. Oh, it's the final round already. Um, okay, okay. Well, it is almost an hour anyway. Um, the final round is Kirby versus the Fat Italian Plumber, Jumpman. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Who's your money on, Kirby or Mario? I'm going for Kirby. Let's go, Miyamoto Jr. You can do this. Do it for your boy, Miyamoto. Do it for Miyamoto. If I had more Kirby Amiibos, I probably would have named them off, like, more Nintendo stuff, like, um, Iwata. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, especially Iwata, because Iwata is god now. He's a god. He didn't die. He became a god. He's now a god. And, um, who else? Um, I I'd probably want Reggie to be a, not, not Kirby, I want Reggie to be a different, I would name, like, a different... No, actually, no, 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 I've already got, no, I, I've actually got my, um, my Mii Fighter Amiibo. Yeah, my Mii Fighter Amiibo is Reggie. Yeah, my Mii, um, my Mii Gun, my Mii Gunner is Reggie, so, that's something. Um, what else? Hey. Maybe Tataka. I think Tataka needs representation. Like, if KK Slider was in Smash Bros, I would have called him Tataka. Oh, 
Come on, Kirby, what are you doing? Use your final smash, it's gonna run out. It's gonna run out! It's gonna run out! Use it now! No! You wasted it! Yeah, I notice how Kirby's always spamming up B. I think it's because I trained my Kirby's to spam up B. <laughs> It's like with Kirby, I win a lot of my fights by spamming up B. Like, I know, like, hey, stop spamming! Spamming's bad, but, like, you're using Kirby for God's sakes. Like, okay, like, with my, my strategy for using Kirby. Like, up B, up B, up B. And, uh, maybe, and then I'll try and see if I can get someone with the hammer. Which works about, maybe about 30% of the time, I'd say. Or 25% of the time, I'd say. Yeah, 25% of the time, time it works. And, um, maybe even, I'll try and copy someone if I can, if that I can get close enough. And then, um, I would thwomp down when I have the opportunity. So that's, that's how I'd use Kirby. So I think you might notice that also Kirby using the thwomp down a lot, or the stone down, or, or the spike down, or whatever it is, down B. So, that's something. Okay, the final, the final is on, no, the final on um, two minutes is on the, um, this stage. So, that, that's good. That's good. On small battlefield. I think that, that's good, that's a good choice, game. Good choice making the final fight on, on this stage. Wait, what music is it playing, too? I can't hear it. Well, whatever it is, it sounds epic and definitely appropriate for the final fight. I think it's the melee theme or something. It's one of the melee themes. I, I, I can't hear it. I need to turn the audio up. Come on, Kirby. You can do this. You can do this. You're almost there. You're almost there, Kirby. Come on, I want you to win for Miyamoto! I want you to win for Miyamoto, he will be proud- No! Come on, you can do it for Miyamoto! You can do it! You can do it, Kirby! You can do it! You can do it, Miyamoto Jr. Come on, oh! 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 Wait, you can take the hit if you want, Kirby. You can take the hit, it won't do much, come on. Take the hit. Or avoid, or avoid, okay. See, it barely did anything. Like, Mario's Final Smash is like crap. Like, I don't know, I just find Mario's Final Smash like one of the worst Final Smashes. Like, even Jigglypuff's Final Smash is better than yours, Mario. The only thing about Jigglypuff's Final Smash that's not that great is that it's crap on big stages. If you're playing as Jigglypuff and want to do good with your Final Smash, terrible on a big stage. Oh, wait! Oh! Oh, it's gonna be sudden death time! Alright, sudden death! Who will it be? Come on, Kirby! Kirby! Yes! Kirby! Yay! You did it! You did it! He did it! He did it! He did it. He did it. Great job, Kirby. Great job. You won. You won. On the Super Smash Bros. 64 Amiibo Tournament. Great job. And next Amiibo Tournament will be Super Smash Bros. Melee! So, yeah, I hope you look forward to that. Well, that was fun. One hour of Amiibo Madness and me talking about random crap that wasn't even related to the Amiibo fight. <laughs> It was just me rambling on about um about Chris Pratt and um <laughs> and Speed Racer and um all this um random crap that's just I, I was talking about so much today and um I was even rambling on about how I couldn't remember Crom's name. <laughs> I couldn't remember Crom's name. I was like, who is that Fire Emblem character again? <laughs> all right, well. 
That was fun. I was um, pretty happy with this tournament. I'm pretty happy with the winner too. I think Kirby deserved it. Kirby deserved that win. So, um, it will be interesting to see what happens when the the melee fighters um, battle it out. So, yeah, hope you look forward to the melee fighters. So, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, if you did, hit that like button. Share to your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I guess I'll see you next time. Some more gaming. Bye.